Have you seen images like these on social media and ever wondered how you can make one? Well, you are in luck because today I'm going to share with you how easy it is to make one coming right up. What's going on everybody? Claudio Zavala here. If this is your first time, thank you for stopping by and checking out this channel. And if you're looking for more tips like these, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and turning on the notifications so you don't miss anything. As I mentioned at the beginning, you might have seen a lot of these types of pictures pop up on social media, especially with school just about to start. People go outside and take a picture. First day of school, last day of school, well, this really cool tool I'm going to show you, Adobe Spark Pose. You can easily create them. I have some of these borders that I made and images that I'll share in the description below if you want to download them and use them. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into my computer and I'll show you how easy it is to make those images. Go check it out. So you are looking at my desktop here. I've opened up a web page and went to spark.adobe.com. I love using this app. It's great. It's easy. Uh, anyone can do it, uh, kindergarten to 12 and above beyond. Uh, so I'm going to click on that plus sign and start a graphic here. And I'll choose start from scratch. And as I mentioned, a lot of people like using these on social media. So you have your social post sizes. So I'm going to go ahead and go with like an Instagram portrait size here. Choose next and I'm going to click on upload. And what I've done here is I'm gonna use uh, my kids' pictures here, my children, um, they're much older now. I'm gonna start here with my son here and choose next and let Adobe Spark run its magic here. Uh, if you need to check out some more videos on Adobe Spark, I'll link it up here at the top as well as in the description below. Okay, so here I have a image of my son. This is when he graduated high school. It's been several years back, but just using it for a demo, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that sample text. And as you can see, I can move the image around. Um, I'm gonna kind of spot it right there. And one of the cool things about Adobe Spark Post is you can add additional content onto a photo. In this case, I'm going to kind of layer on top other pictures or content. One of the things you want to make sure is that they are PNG. Otherwise, it'll take over the whole space. So using PNGs will uh, ensure that you are able to place them on top without, again, taking the whole space. I'm going to click on add a photo and go upload what I did is created this border. And as I mentioned, I will uh, have that border in the description if you want to download and use it yourself. Um, this is actually, I took it in my office. So I'm going to go ahead and give everybody permission to use. As you can see, there it is. I'm going to make that a little bit larger. I kind of took some uh, pictures of school supplies. That looks about right. So I sized it, you can use it for landscape or kind of a portrait style photo here. And I'm going to also add another image there. Go to upload and I created this chalkboard here. So the really cool thing is I'm gonna place this chalkboard over to one of the corners there. Here it is. Uh, tilt it there, place it about right there, move his picture slightly and what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is actually increase the size of his picture a little bit here so that I can slide it over and kind of have that empty base over to his left, my right. I always have to think about that. Let me tilt this back a little, maybe just keep it straight again. There it is. I could also do this if I want. Either way, a little bigger. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to go and add some text. 
And let's see. I'm going to put here senior. I'm going to say 20. 20 because this senior would graduate next year, although my son has already graduated. But again, this is just a demonstration. So here I have the text, but I don't want that kind of background color there. So I'm going to head over here to the right where it says shape and scroll to the top and not have a backing shape. Let's resize that text and actually let's change the color to white and drop that into that chalkboard. Now, what would be cool is if I can make that text kind of look like a chalkboard text. That looks okay, but I just kind of want to make it a little fancier. So I'm going to go and choose a font or text that kind of has a uh, chalkboard look. If you don't have one, one of the cool things about Adobe Spark Post is you can add Adobe fonts. Now you do have to have the uh, premium version. So you do have to have like the Creative Cloud to do that. If not, just go look for a, um, a font, a free font and upload it. Just make sure that you have rights to use it. So I'm going to scroll through here and locate my chalkboard looking font. You can see I have many here and it takes some time, a while for me to find it. I know I have it. There it is. Cabin sketch bowl that has a chalk style effect to the text. And boom, there it is. I've just made kind of a start of school, senior 2020 kind of a picture here. Um, what I could do is click on his picture and give it kind of a filtered look. I can go grayscale there. Kind of wanted to match those, uh, those crayons down there. Shuffle it there a bit. That looks, that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that and then choose to download, use it as PNG, JPEG, or PDF. I'm gonna go ahead and choose PNG. Go ahead and let this download and let's go ahead and check out the final product here. Boom, there it is. Just like that is easy to create a layered photo here in Adobe Spark Pose by adding PNGs there so that you don't have a, a background on those. So now I can go ahead and share this on social media. So if you have a picture of your own kid getting ready to start kindergarten, this would be a really cool way to create kind of a collage type of picture to share. If you find a border that you want to use, by all means, add that one. Just want to make sure and remove the background. If you need a tool, Photoshop, you can do that. There's also a website, I think, called removebackground.com where you can add a picture and remove the background. Just make sure and save it as a PNG so you can drop it into Adobe Spark Post. So what do you think? Is this something that you found helpful? Is this something that you may end up using? Please let me know by adding in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps YouTube share this video with others so that they can learn how to do this as well. If you want to see videos like this to learn more about photography, video, and stuff like Adobe Spark Post, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on the icon to my left. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. And as always, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.